Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you the NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencils that I have in my collection. These certainly aren't all the colors that NYX sells. They have a lot more colors, especially in the more colorful range as opposed to a lot of the neutral colors, which I tend to be drawn to. These Jumbo pencils are $4.50 each. You can buy them through NYX online. You can also buy them at places like Ulta, and I'm sure at a few other places also. In this video, I will show you swatches of the colors. I will also post very detailed photographs and up-close photographs of all of the colors so that you can really see the color itself and the texture of each shade. As always, please feel free to go to Allura Beauty to see those photos and those posts and to comment on those posts or under this video. All right, let's move on to swatches. The first color is Milk. And this is a very opaque white color. Second is Cottage Cheese. And this is a less strong white and it has a frost finish to it. Third is Yogurt. And it's a slightly pink toned champagne, also with kind of a frost finish to it. Fourth is Iced Mocha. It's a nice slightly taupey kind of brown with a frost finish. Fifth is Gold. This is a very copper toned color, so I don't think gold is very accurate. It has copper and bronze hues to it and also has a frost finish. Now just to let you know, these aren't like the Makeup Forever Aqua Shadows, which you can also see the video for if you would like to do that. These are more like bases or you could wear them as eyeshadows alone, but you probably would need to put a primer first in order to prevent it from creasing. So I'll show you that they're not, you know, they're not too smudge resistant, so they will smudge and kind of move around on the lid if you have kind of oily lids or if you have a bad habit of rubbing your eyes, for example. So just be aware of that. Next we have Sparkle Leopard. which is less of an orange tone, gold kind of brown, as opposed to gold, which we saw just previously. And this one has slightly larger silver shimmers in it. Next is Rust, which is a maroon color. Frost finish. Third is Night. This is a black with, again, slightly large, looks like, silver shimmers in there. Maybe gold shimmers. Yeah, it looks like gold shimmers. Fourth is Slate. And this is a dark steel color. It has a sheen that's almost got a blue hue to it. And fifth is Black Bean, which is a matte, very intense black color. Moving on to the more colorful tones, we have Horseradish. which is a very pale green color, frost finish. Next is Cucumber, more of a lime green, has a matte finish. Lime, which is a very pale lime color with a frost finish. Next is Baby Blue, which is a pale baby blue color with a matte finish. Cobalt, it's cobalt blue with a slight frost finish. Not as frosty as these colors here, but it does have very small shimmers in it. And last we have purple, which is like a violet purple with a frost finish. So there you have a quick look at the NYX Jumbo eye pencils that I have in my collection. They are in true pencil form, so they don't have any sort of twist up mechanism, which means you do need to have a sharpener that's large enough to be able to sharpen them and expose more product as you use it up. But as far as eyeshadow bases go, I think these are a really good choice because not only are they very cheap, $4.50 each, but they're 
very high quality. They are extremely pigmented. They all glide on super smoothly. There's no tugging. You don't have to put a lot of pressure, which is really important when you're applying something to the eye because you don't wanna be pulling and tugging at the skin around the eye area and on the eye area. So it's great that they apply very smoothly, evenly, and without a lot of tugging or layering. The only quality that I think they are missing is being more long wearing or perhaps being really crease resistant. So you do need to make sure that you put a primer underneath if you wanna use these as shadows and make sure not to put on too much of the product because that will encourage it to crease even with an eyeshadow base underneath. On the other hand, they make very good eyeshadow bases because they themselves are very pigmented. So if you're gonna put an eyeshadow on top, Again, I would still recommend using a primer, but you're not gonna have to worry so much about the eventual creasing of the product, and it will really help make whatever shadow you're putting on top, say you have kind of a weakly pigmented shadow, it will really enhance that color and bring it out. So overall, I think these are really great. I really love them, I love using them, and they're very affordable. All right, I hope you enjoyed looking at the colors with me. If I add a bunch more to my collection, I will do another video if you're interested in seeing those colors. If you have a favorite color from the NYX Jumbo Pencil Eyeline, please share or any other comments that you have in the comment section below. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.